Hi, welcome to Talking Tech. I'm your host, Marcus Yam. With the launch of the full Raptor Lake family, that's the 13th gen Intel Core processors for both mobile and desktop, we are here at CS 2023 to take a look at what our partners have done with this powerful silicon. Joining me today is Eric. Thanks so much for Talking Tech. Absolutely. And I'm excited to see the Predator because um, I know it features our HX processor, yeah. which I'm wearing right now with our 8P cores, 16 E cores. So let's get right into this one. So new for 2023, the Predator Helios line is updated with a few new things. Of course, the 13th gen Intel Core Series processors up to i9. Uh, we've also now have an option for a mini LED panel. It's not across the board, but it is the top of the line spec. 250 hertz refresh and 1000 nit peak brightness. That's an awesome panel. It's available in two sizes, 16 inch and 18 inch. That's a honestly an amazing feature. I think mini LED is one of the best innovations in all screens, not just for laptops, but I'm glad it's coming from you know big screens to little screens, and I think it's a, a fantastic option. I also can't help but notice that uh, the aspect ratio looks a little bit different this year for 13th gen. That's right, so now we're at 16 by 10 aspect ratio, just a little m bit more screen size and space to work with. And um, uh, mini LEDs aren't just limited to just the screen. I remember you telling that to me a little earlier, so. Yeah, we thought, why not have some fun and go a little further? So we've replaced the per-key RGB lighting, and now we're using per-key mini LED. There are a couple advantages to that. Number one, it's more power efficient. Number two, there's less heat produced. But most importantly, it's a better experience for the user because there's less mixing of those lights. It's a more pure color when they control it per-key as they'd like. I'm glad you've thought about thermals again. I think it's so so important to the performance of the entire machine, right? We're talking about max trouble frequency for a processor for up to 5.6 gigahertz. Uh, so we, we we like hearing that those those things are are considered. What what other new features are with this? Again, this is this is an all new chassis design. All new chassis design. We've made some efforts to kind of tone down. So the design is a little more simple. For a few years now, we've uh, simplified the logo, which you can see on the back of the A cover here made it a little bit smaller, got rid of many of the kind of gimmicky things. We did keep one though, you have to have some fun. And that's the uh, RGB lighting above the thermal solution there, which is controllable by the user and our Predator Sense software, which also controls fan speed and overclocking. Yeah, I see what you mean by the, by the design. Um, honestly, a lot, of, a lot of the creators love using yeah. gaming laptops because all that power can help for all their creative workflows. So I can, I can imagine that you know, the toning down of, of, the, of, the, of the design will really help, you know, appeal to a wider audience that wants all that power and maybe the game a little bit on the side, right. but they don't want to look like that, that they're, on, they're on some sort of a live stream with they're just working. In yeah, they, they want to go to a meeting they're having with their clients and not look like, give the client the impression they just play games all day. Right. And then, you know, um, we highlighted that RGB line that was above the thermals. I just want to touch on the thermals real quick. We're using our fifth generation Aeroblade 3D fan. It's a patented design by Acer. Overall, that with the, the copper heat pipes and our software to control things keeps the system very, very stable for the best performance for gaming or productivity. Because there's a lot of power in here, that 13th generation Intel Core HX processor and the new NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4080 series at max TDP with 165 watts. So we need that cooling to keep performance solid. That's great. And uh, of course, as you mentioned, with 13th gen, we actually have a lot of the same, all the new things come with the platform, like Wi-Fi 6E, mm -hmm. Thunderbolt 4. Uh, so you have a real complete package. We do indeed. in this. And, and uh, again, I, mini LEDs that you just, you had, you had me from there. <laughs> great. We're going to have fun with that. So uh, it's not, not all fun and games, though. No. So we're going to head over to uh, check out some of the Evo. So we're no strangers to the Swift line, but tell me what's new for this year. Boy, almost everything. First of all, we've changed our naming convention. In the past, you would have a Swift 3 or a Swift 5 and Swift 7. We have new names now, Swift Go, Swift, and Swift X. And that takes us from the uh, entry point of the systems and the, and the family all the way to the top end. And I think it's worth mentioning here that these are actually all Intel Evo certified designs too, correct? They are indeed. Okay. Uh, new with that as well is some changes to the industrial design. In the past, we had kind of a, a nice graceful curve now it's a sharper angled edge to look a little more edgy. Uh, also to hold in the hand, it's a little easier. Now, all of these have an aluminum chassis and it gets better from one to the next. This is a, a multi-piece aluminum chassis. It's thin, it's light, it's 14.95 mil, uh, millimeters on the Z height. But what really stands out beyond all that are the new screen sizes. For instance, you're holding a 16 inch 
16 inch, and also the uh, aspect ratio is also 16, 16, by, 16 by 10, 10 right? Yeah. Just like the Predator. So, yes. yeah, another, another trend that I appreciate. Absolutely. Uh, the other thing is new across the board for the Swift line is the optional OLED panel. We can go up to 3.2K and 120 hertz refresh. This is great. Um, I, I actually recognize this machine. This is at the Intel booth, and we did a demo video uh, on the Movidius VPU yeah. and the NPU, which um, helps with a lot of the extra camera effects to take that load off of the CPU and GPU to leave those for other demanding tasks. So um, is, is, the, is the VPU an option or available on, on the entire it lineup? It is available across the lineup. And I'm glad you mentioned the camera because that's another area we've improved this year. On all three of these systems, the camera has gone from 1080p to 1440p. And then working with Intel and then taking software and taking things to the next level, there's some really cool features in terms of something Acer calls temporal noise reduction. So while on a webcam or streaming, if there's a little bit of artifacting and video noise, we're able to clean that up and, and make it look really good. Of course, we have to talk about the processors. Uh, I noticed that uh, even on the information on the wallpaper that these all featured the Intel uh, 13th Gen Core H series, which I happen to have one in my pocket. So this, this, is, uh, this is that. And that's all three. I need to get my hands on that. <laughs> there you go. We, we lead right on the table here. So let's move over to the Swift 14. Same principles, because it's a, a, a constant theme across the lineup, improving the ID, but with the quality stepping up a little bit with that body. This is a solid aluminum chassis that is then CNC machined to get rid of the, the material to make space for all the components and the goodies we need to put inside. You got that accent color on the side to a little golden blue. It's uh, been getting a lot of attention this week, I'll tell you what. Very nice. Oh, and another, another uh, we mentioned Intel Evo. I see uh, Intel Unison here. Is that available on all, all three as well? Yes, Intel Unison is on there, so it makes it very easy to pair your wireless device, iOS or Android, with your PC. Uh, very, very easy to transfer files back and forth between the two, as well as uh, in my early testing, I think there was some uh, receiving text messages and responding from the device. Oh yeah, you can even do voice calls as well. And if you want to see a demo of that, stay tuned to the Intel Technology Channel, where we have that demo. Uh, and of course, the top end one, the Swift so, X. Going all the way to the top here, the Swift X, I'll let you take a look. It's sure. the same aluminum chassis, uh, but this is positioned for a different type of user. This is for a content creator that uh, wants power, but doesn't want to sacrifice the ID or carry around too bulky of a system. This has discrete graphics. It also has NVIDIA Studio drivers and certification. This one I see uh, also 16 by 10 uh, OLED display. That's correct. Yep. And, and, and 14 of course, inch. And all, all the best, of course, with 13th gen. You got Thunderbolt 4, uh, Wi-Fi 6E, all that connectivity. Great. Anything else on the, on the new updated Swift? Um, I mean, we, we're, we just have lots of updates, uh, including the thermal solution across the board, an improved dual fan solution. We get venting underneath the chassis because the hinge will lift it up a little bit, and then it kind of breathes around the keys as well. So especially when you move up to the Swift X14, the improved thermals mean better stability and better performance. Great. So hey, with 13th Gen Raptor Lake, you actually have all new uh, designs to go along with this new technology. You want a new CPU? You get new design. That's right. All right, and uh, so for people who don't need to uh, carry around the computer all the time, just want to keep it at home, we're going to take a look at the next one. We have a... So Eric, it's, it's been a while since I've seen a good all-in-one uh, at CES. Well, it's been a while since I've been at CES, but um, <laughs> I love all-in-ones. I think they're a really neat way to put a computer inside a monitor or just have a very clean design. So uh, yeah, the Aspire S32, tell me about this. So you hit right on the subject that we were focusing on, which is the design. It's, we're trying to make this as clean and minimalist as possible. It's a 96.5 screen to body ratio. That's a very thin bezel. And the, the body of this all-in-one is made of aluminum for a sleek appearance and feel. One of the results of going for such a thin bezel around that screen so you can really enjoy that 32 inch uh, display is we had to move the camera because typically it's built into the bezel. Well, we wanted to make sure we could go as thin as possible, had to remove it, but we still need a camera so here it is on top. This is a two megapixel camera, but it is modular and removable. Oh, okay. Magnetic holds in place. The, that comes with both the 32 and 27 inch version of this all-in-one. And I can imagine there's a, there's a security aspect to that too, is that you know, some people, they put tape over, <laughs> yeah. uh, over it, or there's a little shutter, but this piece of tape. Here, you could just put that in, you just in, remove in, it. in, in your drawer. Yeah. You could put it somewhere yeah. else, and there's no way. No way anybody's there's no, seen it. There's no there. camera at, That's at, right. at all. 
to enhance the experience for the users. There's an optional accessory that they can purchase that will increase the quality of the camera from 2 megapixel to 5 megapixel. It attaches with that magnet, but it also includes a ring light. So great for recording videos or streaming. Yeah, of course, you know, meetings and working from home, I think that's <laughs> another, another uh, much used um, aspect uh, of, of this design. But the modular design does not stop there. We've gone a little bit further. On the base of the 32 inch. Oh, I like that, that's cool. Is a removable wireless touchpad. And because Acer has been focusing on sustainability for quite a while, the surface is what we call ocean glass. It's plastic that's been pulled out of the ocean and recycled and made for this very smooth glass-like touch. And that in, is that entire touch surface? May I look at me? You certainly is can. It, is this, oh, so it's, yeah. this is a, a massive trackpad. Going a little further, it also supports an active stylus. Oh, okay. So you can so, hold that there. And, and you just draw it right on. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, full, full big surface. And I see that there's um, you know, like volume controls That's and right. brightness sliders there too. Right. Um, and this is, oh, it's got a little bit, uh, I see a USB-C charger right. on the back here yeah. if you just want to leave it out in front of your keyboard. Um, but otherwise, just, they just charge. Just rest on oh, the base and, it's it, magnetic. and it charges. Yep. That's a really smart design. I like and that. Then for additional security, we mentioned the uh, camera being removed. There is a fingerprint reader on the base there. So Windows Hello functionality is built in. And of course, it's touch responsive. We've just brought the, uh, we, the on-screen keyboard We did keyboard accidentally up bring that up. Um, and oh, and hey, now you just demoed that this, this still works when it's, when it's docked on the uh, on screen. Super space saving if you just want to, you don't have a whole lot of desk space. Another reason why you might have an all-in-one. Great reason for that. Yeah. Um, and then another key element of the design is, besides keeping it elegant and sleek, uh, making it easy to use. Oftentimes ports, uh, well, connecting cables to a monitor, for instance, especially, and sometimes on ones are a little difficult. Um, on screen, you can see that the ports are on the back of the stand, making it very easy to reach. It's an easy 90 degree angle to push in, and then it hides the cables behind the system, so it stays elegant looking. Got it. And running inside is uh, what, what series of processor? It's a 13th gen Intel Core P series. P series, or P series run up to 12 cores. So. Right. All right, Any, anything else? Um, on this, and, I, and you did mention that this comes in two sizes. Yes, there's the 32 inch we're looking at and a smaller 27 inch. The 27 inch does unfortunately lose the uh, detachable touchpad. Oh, does it have, so people will have to just use the like external mouse yes, or something like that? Yes, correct. Okay. Oh, the system ships with a wireless mouse and keyboard. Oh, okay, like just like this? Just like this. All right. Well, Eric, thank you so much for the flyby with everything Acer has uh, for CS2023. Great new designs for 13th gen, so uh, thanks for talking tech with me. Yeah, you bet, thank you.